Greetings everybody. In today's session, we will be discussing the graded assignment of week 3, computational thinking subject. So now, let's start the session without making it any late further. The question number 1 and question number 2 have been given a common data set called Olympics data set. Ok, now let us uh, get into the procedure code provided to us. By keeping in mind that every player has only one entry in this data set which has been mentioned here has only one row corresponding to each player a is 0 and b is 0 firstly let us get into the question which has been asked to us what will a represent at the end of execution so now it's our primary duty to find out what a captures while table 1 has more rows we, but we have to make sure that A has been set to 0 and B, his, B has been uh, set to 0. While table 1 has more rows, if the first row x in table 1, ok. If you have observed here, 2005 is what the mentioned here is. It is less than 2005. That means every year that comes before 2005 which is up to like 2004, 2003, 2002, 2001, 2000 so on then after 2008 that means 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012 so on if this is satisfied then we are incrementing the value of a by 1 in what case will a, a, a become a plus 1 here? This is what the main point to be concentrated. Here they are using an OR operator. An OR operator will give you the final of answer to be true if both are true, either of them is a false. So as a total we need to find out this, the option which satisfies all these three conditions right so now let us check for the suitable option number of players who have won medal in the year either after 2005 is it after 2005 no it is before 2005 and after 2008 right so you can straight away we can eliminate option a Number of players who have won medal in the year either before 2005 or after 2008. Great, that's the answer. B is the right option. And if you saw, if you must have seen the question options, then you can directly eliminate options C and D straight away because this is called there is a sport something called wrestling, but A is not associated with wrestling and even here there is something called wrestlers who are the participants of the sport wrestling therefore you can eliminate c and d immediately after going through the options which will give you a high possibility of securing a correct option even if you are missing the logic so b is the most suitable option for question number one question two let us check it out okay what will be represent at the end of execution? What will be represent here? We will only come into the option to increment B if the fourth line is completely not satisfied. That means they must have secured a medal from in 2005 or in 2008 or in 2006 and 2007. That's the case, right? or they must, have score, they must have secured after 2005 either of them can be a true and either of them can be false like this with this regard we get the, the medal must have observed in any of these for three combinations but not here any of these two combinations which are possible will, will lead to the else part of the if else loop so in the else there is something called if x dot spot is wrestling if the if the athlete participated in wrestling alone then we will be incrementing the value of b by 1 so let us check for a suitable option now 
number of players who have won the medal in wrestling the year either after 2005 or before 2008 after 2005 in the sense greater than 2005 that means the first one will be a true or the second one will be a false which will lead to the total value as a true one second or before 2008 before 2008 in the sense yeah both will be false here and hence it will come on to else part if wrestling the year either 2005 i mean after 2005 which is false and before 2008 this is also false and hence it will come into the seventh line else if if x dot spot b is equal to b plus 1 let us keep this on hold number of players who have won medal in the wrestling between 2005 and 2007 end points are included between 2005 and 2007 end points are included that means we can shortlist the you can shortlist this as well great and now coming to third option number of players who have won the medal in any other sport except wrestling this is absolutely false number of players who have won the medal in wrestling in the year before 2005 or after 2008 this will lead to a true hence this is also a wrong option so according to the logic that we observed only option c only option a and option b are shortlisted to be the right answers and now let us deep dive or let us deeply examine the right answer as both are looking very similar between 2005 and 2007 number of players in the wrestling the year either after 2005 or before 2008 end points are included no no after 2005 in the sense greater 2005 or before 2008 which is less than 2008 so this must be something like 2006 and 2007 only these two years are possible for the option a either after 2005 or before 2008 okay if you observe here it is or before 2008 that means either of these can be a true this can be true or this can be true right so <coughs> uh this can be a true one second yeah this can be a true or this can be a false and this can be true or this can be a false but it will lead to a total answer which uh, which is either out of information and so the most suitable answer would be number of players who have won the medal in wrestling in between 2005 and 2007 that means 2005 2006 and 2007 this is what the years in which the the athlete must have scored secured a medal in wrestling and now comes our question number 
the following pseudocode is executed using this course data set when will c be true a is 0 b is 0 and c is false please note this down guys c is false at the initialization phase of uh, thing while table 1 has more rows read the first row x in table 1 if gender is a female if if the picked up card belongs to a female or a girl then we then we are incrementing a so we only increment a when it is it belongs to a girl when we find whenever we find a girl's entry else and now coming to the part of incrementing b on which case will we increment b we are even here if you see if and else are coming as a pair we only move on to the else part if the if the picked up card does not belong to a female candidate that means b belongs to a male candidate who is from erode male from a city called erode and now uh, at the end at the end of the process what are we checking here if a is less than b that means if the girls are less than male students from erode in such case c will be true so this is the understanding that we developed from the pseudocode provided to us so let us find a suitable option which has been discussed right now after any after uh, interpreting the pseudocode if there exist uh, less female students than male students from erode yeah this is right if there exist less female students than male students from erode yes this is the right option question number four the following pseudocode is executed using scores data set what will a represent at the end of execution and again i am uh, i am very much emphasizing you all to maintain to or to make note of the important points at the beginning of the question a is 0 and count is set to 0 again while table 1 has more rows uh, and b is being initialized to boolean value called true count is count plus 1 what, from this information what does count store count stores one second guys count stores something that has been read number of cards read see here after we have read this first card b was initialized to true and after reading the same first card the value of count has been incremented by one that means count stores the number of cards that have been read so far right so if x dot physics is up to here we have done the basic part of the pseudocode and uh, interpreted what variable stores what if x dot physics is greater than or is equal to 90 in such case b is false right so b will be true only when or let us let us consider the cases when b turns out to be a false b become false b will change its value or will get updated with it false if if we find an entry of any student having physics greater than or is equal to 90 okay this is the conditions where b become false and x dot chemistry is greater than 90 and even math is greater than is equal to 90 in these cases b will turn out to be false where it has been initialized to true at the beginning right for b to remain true 
what should happen right now we are only incrementing the value of a if even after going to the steps 6 9 and 12 where we check the uh, individual marks that have been scored by student x in the entries even after even after undergoing or even after checking for these steps if it, it remains to be true if it is less than or is equal to 89 right in such case a will be a plus 1 and b will be true so our concept of the solution is 89 less than is equal to 89 this is the core concept dependent upon which we will be getting the right option definitely option a is not uh, not the correct answer because scored more than 90 that means it will turn out to be false more than 90 is nothing but greater than or is equal to more than 90 means greater than 90 which will turn out to be false here if b is false a will not be updated with one or will get incremented with one who scores less than 90 marks in at least in exactly one subject even if he gets exactly in one subject who scores less than 90 marks in exactly one subject if he for example let us consider that the student scores exactly 90 in one subject then b will turn out to be false in any other case once it is false yes that is false right so this is absolutely a mistake who scored at least 90 that means is equal to 90 or greater than or is equal to 90 even this case is also wrong which which shows us that the right option is c number of options number of students who scored less than 90 marks in all subjects less than 90 in the sense less than or is equal to 89 hence c is the right option which i have said to you in the from the very beginning of this question